Everybody else is part of the community, so why aren't people with intellectual disabilities? Why are they still being locked away in institutions? We're nothing to be scared of. We're just people just like you and me. And we need to really emphasise that segregation doesn't work and never has worked. So why do we still do it? This is me when I was about four or maybe five an institution. There was never any cuddles or laughter with kids. I just wanted to be a kid just like any other New Zealand kid. But you can't be a kid in places like this. It's a life sentence. And what crime have we committed? And you still see institutions that they don't have doors on showers or even on toilet doors. Dormitories, 40 people that don't even know each other have got to be beside each other. It was a system that let us down. And the system is still letting people down. And we've got to change the system. You don't get to pick your clothes. You don't get to choose your food. You don't get to choose when you go to bed. They treat you like an eternal child. Basically, you don't ever grow up as they want to protect you. We don't need protecting, we need assistance to find our way in the world. That's what we want. So I'm looking for a, a white shirt. There we go, sir. I might be the Mr. first Ford. person with an intellectual yes, disability sir. on Thank the committee, but I certainly don't want to be the last. But I've also brought an education to the committee about the understanding of intellectual disabilities. You learn a lot from being part of this team. We do work well together, and we all pull together. And I think that's the unique thing of this committee. Who would have thought from being institutionalised to being part of the committee that asks questions of government about what are they doing? to enable people with disabilities to be part of society, part of their community. And to me, it's all about most basic human rights, the right to be heard, the right to choice, the right to be loved and to give love. All those things are what all human beings need. Sir Robert Martin is highly respected and an inspiration for many. His contribution and participation on the UN Committee is known and is influential. For this reason, the New Zealand Government is pleased to support Robert's re-election to the Committee so that he can continue to bring the voice of people with learning disabilities to the UN Committee and continue to make a difference for people with disabilities.